95.7 The Hog. It's the Morning Hog Show's happy hour. Riggs and Guys Brew Review with that dude, Josh from SR Parade and Amelia from SR Parade. Good morning. Clapping for the mic. They brought a friend. Good morning. Who's your special friend, Amelia? This is Gary Russell. He's with the Rotary Club of Ormond Beach. And he's heading up the Ormond Beach Beer Festival oh, that yeah. is tomorrow. Oh, so be sure you yeah. guys get out tomorrow. Hi, Gary. Hello. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, no it. problem. Look at that. Amelia is like a field reporter right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you at the scene of the... Uh, so, Gary, this is uh, great because Ormond... I mean, you can drink beer anywhere at any day of the week, but everybody needs to know tomorrow's the day to drink in an Ormond. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to have uh, 40 different craft beer guys out oh, there, nice. over 100 different crafts for... Wow. Thirty-five dollars. You can uh, you can drink for three hours as much as you want. Beautiful. All those different beers from two to five, and then from five to eight, we're gonna have all kinds of great bands. Uh, unless you uh, purchase the uh, tasting, it's free. No ad- no admission. We'll have uh, five draft beers for sale. Right. Sixteen ounce drafts for four dollars. Guy, can you imagine wow. the torture of going to this and watching everybody else drink beer? Because that would not happen with tickets. me. Don't don't let that happen. To <laughs> How you. much are tickets? Uh, thirty dollars if you buy them now. Thirty-five the day of the event. So you got like less than a day to get your. So get them today, right. or it's going to be thirty-five bucks tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Take care of things, and you get one of these cool commemorative cups. Look. That's right. And it makes your hands look giant. <laughs> Finally. I like that. And we're going to be on the safe side. You guys, check out SR Parat's social media. Mm-hmm. We're going to post the Uber code. We have an Uber code. Wow. So have a safe ride. Get there nice. safe. Get home safe. And save some money, too. So yeah. you want them to drink, but do it responsibly, of course. That's right. That's right. We're going to post it to the event page for Ormond Beach Beer Festival, as well as SR Parat's social media. So be on the lookout. Okay. Now uh, it'll be on Facebook too. What beer do you have first? Yeah, and why are they here today? Oh my gosh, these brands are going to be at the Ormond Beach Beer Festival Perfect. tomorrow. We okay. are so excited to have Terrapin, Sam Adams, and Lagunitas with us here today. Excellent. Yes. So first up today is Sam Adams Summer Ale. They recently updated the recipe, and this is what summer tastes like, right, guy? If uh, yeah, <laughs> if you could bottle summer, that's what it would taste like. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, there may have been a sneak. We may have had a sneak preview of this beer already. <laughs> the brew review starts at 9.05, but... It was uh, five minutes ago. So this before. is actually right. uh, a new Thank recipe you, for Sam Adams. Yeah. I guess they've been testing out stuff for a little while. Okay. And it's their first change in 23 years. Wow. Yep. That Yeah, like I said, that is uh, summer in a bottle. It's now, awesome. I wonder why they decided to change. I mean, it's uh, they, they don't have to because Sam's got a record of success already. Right. So... Um, this the new one. They're they're using a little bit more of the uh, the citrus, so they're using orange, lime, and lemon. You can kind of yeah. taste each note Definitely. going through a little bit. Uh, they wanted more of that citrus flavor before it had a little bit more of an earth tone. So they're trying to go the other direction, get a little bit more of that the citrus, a little that's, bit of sweetness to it. Oh, that's really they, good. They want that summer in a bottle. That's that beer that as soon as you're done mowing the lawn, you go to you go to the fridge to grab a beer. Boom. Yeah. That is, that, right is that in stores already? Yes. Okay. Uh, came out in April. They run it to, I believe, August or so. So awesome. it'll be available for okay. Publix's, uh, all your grocery mm-hmm. stores, ABC, Total Wine. Um, the ABV on it's 5.3%, so it's very drinkable, sessionable. Uh, and the uh, bitterness is super, super low. And it's just delicious beer. That's texting, right. Texting yeah, myself a reminder to go seven. buy it today. Yes. There you go. All right. This is amazing. Yeah, Josh said low on the bitterness level. He's right. It has eight IBUs. I am loving this beer. It's absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to drink this all summer long. I'm going to say it's fruit-tastic. How about that? Oh, fruit-tastic. Fruit? You can have that. That's, That's yours. You take That's that mine. one. That's mine. That's all me. That's all yours. Summer-tastic. <laughs> yeah. Don't show off. <laughs> you already got one. All right, Summertastic. It is Summertastic. And if you want to look at what I'm looking at, go to SamuelAdams.com. Okay. All right. Love it. That's a great start. All right. Now where are you taking us? And I know what these cans are. These mean business. That's right. We're going to move it up to Terrapin. We're going to try the Crunkles series. And you guys know the story behind Crunkles, right? No, I do, but tell everybody. They need to know this. <laughs> All right, so Crunkles uh, was, is the story of how the IPA uh, washed up uh, in a bottle on the beach. The recipe for the beer washed up in a bottle on the beach. Okay. What? And Mr. Crunkles found the recipe. Yeah. He wrote the recipe. <laughs> Josh, take it from here. <laughs> okay. I was like, you all right over there? He's cracking his neck. <laughs> so... Um, Spike, which is the brewer, 
was in the Caribbean and a, a bottle washed up. Yeah. And uh, it had this IPA the recipe in it. Yeah. They brewed it. It was delicious. And they got super curious about who this Mr. Kunkel guy was. Yeah. So they, around the country, they started finding all these bottles all over the place. It's, it's a fictional story. But yeah. it's a lot of fun. Um, you can check on their website and Terrapin's website and... and they have a full length story for each beer that they come out in the Crunkles line. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I've spent some time with Spike, and I wouldn't believe a word he says, but I do. <laughs> I definitely believe his beer. I believe in the beer very heartily. This is very so good. So, which Crunkle is this one? The the Luau. The Luau. Luau. Yeah, and that's one that uh, we're gonna have tomorrow. On that you can purchase on draft. Holy yeah. crap, that's good. Yeah. Now you want to take you want to talk about an IPA back end, but the fruits right there on the front as well. That's what you expect in a Luau. Yeah, it's it's not a. It's not a kick you in the tongue IPA. It's a, it's it's actually very good. You guys want to check that out? It's terrapinbeer.com. It's not weird that I want to put on a lay right now and dance around, right? That's not weird. That's what this. Beer I want to see here. that. Okay, I'm ready. Let's so see right. it tomorrow, see right? Then we have it. Yes, I'll save it for tomorrow. <laughs> the, those fruits you're tasting are actually it's passion fruit and orange guava. Wow, that's really so good. So it's I mean it's delicious. Another IPA. It's it's not too high on the ABV. It's six point five percent. Yeah, uh, and it has you're just your typical bitterness of an IPA, so it's nothing too crazy, but it's just There's delicious. just enough hop in there. Yeah, yeah a, that one's ringing in at 72 IBUs. Oh, that's right. really good. I I love that beer. And this is uh, available year round, by the way. Yes, it's available year round. And you know, you are on point, Riggs, when mm-hmm. you said thinking about a lay right here on the can. He's talking about how this is inspired from when Mr. Crunkle spent time in Hawaii on the Hawaiian Islands. Right. So. Come get a taste of what Mr. Crunkles wants to share with you. Yeah, if you can't throw a luau in your backyard, just go to Ormond Beach tomorrow and and, and make your own luau right there. Has anyone here been to Hawaii? Not yet. Just you? I was in Hawaii when I when I was when I was in the Navy. Yeah. We flew into an airport and had to wait there for six hours, but that was it. So I didn't get to see it. It was at night. Wouldn't but be I've nice been in Hawaii. <laughs> did, so, that count? Uh, <laughs> did you Did you no, meet Mr. We, no, no, we got delayed. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's understandable. <laughs> I thought you told me you met Mr. Crunkles in a gentleman's room, but that was... Okay, <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Another Terrapin can has made its what? way in front of you, Amelia. Oh, yes. Look so this is one. the... Panama. Panama Crunkles Pineapple Papaya IPA. I'm super excited about this. I love pineapple. I love tropical flavors. I love pineapple. And what Terrapin is doing with these IPAs is absolutely incredible. All right, now I have not had this beer before. Is this a new to the uh, Terrapin fleet? The, New-ish? It's new to the Crunkles line. All right, um, fair. So the three that we'll be sampling today, they're all in a IPA travel trunk. Which is a 12 pack. I've had that. Yep. And uh, okay. once again, you can find those Total Wine, ABC. Ooh, it smells some delicious. Local Independence. I'm going to Total Wine right now. And this is 6.5% uh, no, uh, ABV? 6.5. And uh, this one is 77 IBUs. So it's a little bit more bitter than the last one, but still. Oh, right. So this one's a higher ABV and it'll creep up on you. God, I love this beer a lot. It's oh, good. Yeah. Wow. I- I don't know about you, but I can actually smell the pineapple. Yeah, you can absolutely. You can taste it too. Holy sh! Yeah, I know. Wait, I, I yeah. almost did it again. It's almost. <laughs> uh, you got your brakes are working out though. The air brakes are working. Wow. <laughs> Spike and his evil geniuses at Terrapin are just—they're all wrong in all the right ways, and this is very, very good. I, I've, yeah. I love pineapple. You know, and I'm going to need another taste test. Better. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh oh. I will no, buy. Okay. I will okay. buy one of these samplers generally just to en- to enjoy the beers. But then when you get stuff like that where you're you you do not know what you're getting, you're, we're telling you right now it's gonna be good. So, so if I go to the beer fest tomorrow with this mug, and I stand in front of the terrapin people, can I just keep going? Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, as long as the people behind you don't knock you out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them you know Gary. <laughs> yeah, I, I know yeah. Gary. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> Gary said, "Yeah, just do that. Just drop that." Yeah, Gary said, "Get out of the way." That'll only work for guy though. Nobody else can use that. If you're, if you're hearing this on the air, it's not. You can't. Won't work for you. Man, I love that beer. So okay. you have more terrapin. Do. That's right. Then we've Ooh. got our Mr. Crunkles. The original IPA. That's Look at all the mustaches school. on the back of that can. Yeah. Oh, there's a big one on the front. That is old school. That Some is- of them are modeled after me. That looks like it's, it looks like a combination between uh, Josh's stash and then uh, intern Steve's former stash. Rest in peace. Remember, he had that curly <laughs> for a while. Steve has a stash. Oh, yeah. You should have seen it. Yeah. He had to let it go. It uh, kept getting caught in his ears, and so he... <laughs> headphones get caught on it it was a mess uh but man i see that is i I don't even remember that can design but yes please check that out the original crunkles so this one is 
it, it tra- backtracks on that that bitterness at 50 IBUs, so it comes all the way down from 72, 77, yeah. back down to 50. Okay. So it's still, you know, an IPA, obviously, but not as bitter. You still get that fruit notes, a lot of tropical fruits. And this is definitely not a, a, another heavy hoppy beer. It's still kind of light. It's not. Uh, it's not hop execution or heavy. Right. Right. You know, I'd have to agree with you, Riggs. I am so impressed by this variety of IPAs here because. I have to admit, I have never been a huge IPA fan, and I can tell you every single one of these IPAs in this lineup today are drinkable. Look at that. And I'm ready to crush this. this you summer. are not kidding. Man, I do love the tear up in line. Yes. That is great stuff. And so these are all in the same sampler, the Correct. same suitcase. Yep. Yep. I've, I've had sampler. a few of these before. I am now going to become a bigger Terrapin fan. So if, if the wife says, hey, do you need beer? I'm be like, Terrapin, what kind? Any. Yeah. And in that survival Any. kit, you often get like Hopsecutioner in there as well or something, um, right? on, on some of the other yeah. variety. Okay, yep. cool. Um, now, Hopsecutioner will be tomorrow on draft. 16 Whoa. ounces, $4. You had me at $30 advance, but yeah. now you've got me at Hopsecutioner. Yeah. I'm there. The, the oh. up high will be on draft as well. Really? Yep. Really? Wow. You've got all the goods. I don't need to go. There really doesn't need to be any other tents, but I will circulate. Well, see, here's the thing. So after the beer, after unlimited pours end from, it's from 2 to 5 p.m., okay. live music continues on through the evening, nice. and draft beer will still be available. You'll still be able to drink your Terrapin Excellent. while you listen to amazing bands. Here's the lineup. We have Romeo's Bleeding with Mark Hodgson, okay. Amy Alicia and the Soul Operation, Cool Breeze, and The Brothers Within. So we've got some variety. We have some really amazing local artists we are so excited to have them here tomorrow i've seen brothers within and they were awesome and they're bringing their full band oh really so you got the oh so this is not like so we don't we had this uh conversation earlier this week about shushing at concerts where people are trying to hear an acoustic show and you have to be quiet (laughs) if you're talking i don't think you'll have that there'll be no shushing excellent no shushing in ormond beach tomorrow and you know it's at the casements over at rockefeller gardens it's going to be an absolutely beautiful afternoon beautiful evening right on the river it's going to be a nice cool breeze weather's going to be perfect so be sure to be out there tomorrow yeah and it is family friendly. We have a kid zone. We got really? bouncy houses and all that stuff. You know, I want to go in a bounce house. For, I know. I know. Well, I don't know. Yeah. You, you you might not get past the security. <laughs> so looking, looking like that, but uh, no, we have that, and we've also got some great food vendors that are going to be there the whole time. So okay. if you want to eat at two o'clock or eight o'clock, we got food vendors. There. Really amazing food vendors. You guys, you know, you love Sandy Bottoms, Cool Beans Barbecue, Sweet and Eats, Dudes Hot Dogs, Cousins Maine Lobster, and Hershey's Ice Cream. Mm. Really? What? Oh yeah. I could have lobster and ice cream and terrapin in the same place. All at lobster once. ice cream. That's Come right. in. I might get lobster some ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> oh, lobster ice cream. I might get some ice cream. Pour some beer over it. Josh is just making give me a float. great idea. We're <laughs> best friends now. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very good. I see you have one more, and it's only missing one thing. And Andy. Oh. oh, I know. I wish Andy was here with us today. So up next, we have Lagunitas IPA. <laughs> it's pretty much that prototypical IPA. Right. Um, super well-rounded. Uh, they just came out in 19.2 ounce cans. So really? you can get them in singles now. At 19s? Yep, 19.2. Oh, man. So cool looking cans. Uh, yes, please. And I mean, it's just, like I said, that prototypical awesome IPA. Would they fit in this koozie? Perfect, yep. That is why I fell in love with Lagunitas. This is the very first beer I had by them, and I instantly fell in love. Yeah, I think this really was good. my very first IPA This is well. your go-to beer, yeah. Yeah, I, absolutely. Where you the get, Terrapin is my go-to, this is your go-to. It is well, I'll switch off back and forth. I, yeah. I won't discriminate. I'm going to share, for sure, but just so you, if, if you were to if you were to step up and have a first one. and that It's like the, you patterned this brew review for our needs, right? You guys are awesome. It's all for you, guys. It's, it's all a lot for of love. You. A lot of love in this room right now. Loganitas dot com, by the way. Mm. All right. So tomorrow, it, it sounds like a full day festival. Yes. It's, I mean, two to five sampling. So don't screw around and get there. I get there at three forty-five. You're missing out. No, and and we we're gonna have a lot of people there. So mm-hmm. it's not like some of these uh, events you go to that you know you get there on time or you get there thirty minutes early and you stand in line for an hour. Right. And then you know it takes forever to get in. You know we we've got it set up where we're gonna start letting Excellent. people in early. You know get your money, get you in. Not not standing in a hot sun waiting on that beer, and then at two o'clock, you know they'll start serving. So. Perfect. And it's real important that we let everybody know 
one hundred percent of the money goes to charity. Okay, that's right? huge. It's yeah, all that's volunteers. Awesome. Everything's done. Uh, we've got the Rotary Club is handling everything. Ormond Beach Rotary Club. Nice. We've also got uh, the uh, downtown Ormond Beach Rotary Club. Both clubs are sponsoring this, okay. and and thanks to SR Parade. I mean, they have been just amazing. This is our first one. We're gonna. Our hope is that this is something that goes on for the next 20 years. Well, there is a, uh, a track record of success with Parat in these events and stuff, so I would expect that this would be the uh, the big kickoff, and you can wait, be ready for more. Well, again, it is a drinking fest, so uh, you, where do you go to make sure you can get an Uber ride home or a, a good code? Go to our social media. Check out Facebook, the Ormond Beach Beer Festival's event page, and check out SR Parat's page. It's going to be posted on our Instagram, on the Ormond Beach Beer Festival's Instagram, um, Facebook. So just be sure to check that out. Get a safe ride. Be safe. And besides that, you know, you guys are right. There's, it's going to be a ton of, ton of different vendors. We have tons of beer tents you know we laid out the map for 35 tents but we're pushing it yeah it's more tense <laughs> really? i had to i had to yeah. spread out the map and you said I laid over out 100 the map. different beers too is that what you said yeah, earlier we'll yes oh yeah, way right. over three, so yes yes i want to taste born. them all and, we, and if you're worried about parking we've got shuttles so if you want to park over behind the library Really? We'll shuttle you over, oh, and then you get a free shuttle ride back to you your You thought car. of everything. Well, we're trying. We're trying. Yeah. But, well, that's uh, good. But, yeah, uh, because parking can be an issue around the casements. But yeah. uh, but we've got that huge parking lot over there. So okay. uh, if you want to just park over there, grab one of our shuttle rides over, and we'll take you back to your car at the end of the day. We already loved Ormond Beach before. <laughs> this is just making it better. As usual, if you want to find out where you can get these beers, uh, what stores are at, srprot.com, beer finder. All right. And if people want to chase right. tickets down, where can they go? Can they online? Well, we have them online. Yeah. You can get them through Eventbrite um, okay. for a few more hours, or we'll, we'll be selling them there. You awesome. Know? So, you, okay. you know, if you, if, you, if you want to pay the extra five bucks or go yeah. to Eventbrite and get it through there. Your, your extra five bucks is going to charity. So, you know, it's five more bucks it's than all charity. To charity. Yeah. yeah. So make that happen. Well, I'll gosh. Beer. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and you guys will be. You, know, you guys got to work. Yeah, the guy and yeah, I can show yeah. up. and We can yeah. play. Yeah, we're working. You've got to work. Yeah. Is there going to be a part where you can finally like stop and relax and enjoy a little bit? Oh, I'm sure we'll be a, enjoying. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know that, it's a it, beer fest, Riggs. Just want to make anybody, sure. If anybody knows the Ormond Beach Rotary Club, we have fun at whatever we do. So okay. If oh. You want to have a oh. good time? You want to go. <laughs> Once it's up and running, and it's up and running. Let's just say that. I feel like we have a whole separate sidecar episode that goes on the dark web about the Rotary Club <laughs> after hours. <laughs> hey, check out SR Parat. We're going to be doing some Facebook Live videos. That oh, day, nice. okay. and just to showcase, we're having a good time out there. Excellent. So, if you want to see their faces, you can go to YouTube 957 The Hog uh, Brew Review. And if you want to see them in person, the Beer Fest tomorrow. That's yeah. right. That's right. I'll be wearing this same outfit or <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> well, we, we do need to mention the five beers that are going to be on draft. Yeah, oh, yeah. If you would. I mean, you please. All right. Here we go. We're going to have Terrapin Hopsecutioner, Terrapin Luel Crunkles, which we sampled here today. It's amazing passion fruit orange guava IPA, as well as Terrapin Up High IPA, Miller Light, and Blue Moon. So Perfect. All right. <laughs> 16 ounces, $4. I mean, you're not going to get a better wow. deal. Come to Ormond Beach. Wow. That come is to so Ormond Beach. If you come to Ormond Beach one time, you'll, you'll fall in love. That's a great deal. That's like stealing beer, really. That's a, that's <laughs> so cheap, it's almost like stealing and beer. No, we'll actually give no you admission beer. charge. <laughs> 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 We're not going to hit you up for $5 coming through. You just It's free. So you can just come, come enjoy. In. You got the live right. music. You got the you got the op uh, options of getting some beer and food. And bring the kids. Yep. Put yep. them in a jumpy for four hours. There I've done go. it. <laughs> Something wrong? Having fun. <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Ormond Beach. Cheers. <laughs>